Hello YouTube, Jedimon2005 here with the review of SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Forze Cosmic States. Uh, so his final form, uh, the result of using Switch 40, the Cosmic Switch is here. Um, so we can see, obviously he's in a typical Forze box, it's the light blue cosmic color uh, with this orangey red, it's a borderline orange, it's borderline orange on this border. And uh, it says Kamen Rider Forze Cosmic States. We got like the star background. Got the galaxy things here. Um, Cosmic States right there. Forze logo. Kamen Rider Forze Cosmic States right there. Uh, the name on the side in yellow. Um, and then again on this side on the back, we see him. Look at that big dick sword, huh? The Barazin sword. Him with it closed. Him, I guess, doing the big Ginga finish. Um, we see that they're showing us, look, we put all the little symbols on her chest. Like, yeah, it's cool. Um, and then Nage Jeroika and his little Sunuggets right here. Uh, so let's get Forze out of his packaging. Uh, there will be plastic. That's going to haunt me. So, I mean, we see a lot of things. What's he come with? Well, we have him, obvious. Uh, Barrows and Sword closed. Uh, this extra blade here for extended mode. Um, we've got... Um, Nugget Jeroika in food mode, in roid mode, here with the Sue Nuggets in the back. Um, you can see the gyro switch, obviously, in both of these. And then in carry mode, presumably he will be able to carry uh, the other mini food droids around, should you so desire. Mine are put away somewhere, so I won't be able to show that. Then we have the Sue Nuggets in a chain right there at the bottom. Um, what else do we have? We have an empty switch slot here. We have a closed cosmic switch, an open cosmic switch. We have closed cosmic switch and a switch slot, as well as an open one plus the hands here. So let's um, get all that out, take a look at it, um, bitch about how bad the show is, and get about 30 people to hate you for it. But I'm fine with it. Oh, look, his hand got stuck to the plastic. That's cute. That's weird. Um, and the switch slot's missing. The empty switch slot. Has gone missing. Oh wait, there it is. Okay. Okay, so here's Forze. All right, so big dick sword, big dick sword blade. Okay, let's look at Nagat Jeroika and all his business first. Get that out the way, and then we'll look at the sword and stuff and the switches. So, first up, here's Nagat Jeroika in food mode. The little carton of chicken nuggets. We can see the little symbol on the top right there. And uh looking cool right at the bottom. All his little food droidness. Um now let's get him in roid mode so we can see it's open, it's folded over. There's the Sue Nuggets. You can see either the little colored eyes on them. You get the green, the purple, the red and the yellow. Right? Um and then of course you can see that this has been folded around right there. So that's roid mode. Um, this is carry mode right here which basically um, is going to be the same as roid mode except the Sue Nuggets are gone and then instead of being folded under him the cover is left open for him to carry burger meal or whomever. And then I don't, I don't even know physically how to get this out of here without, like, I, I don't, uh, let me get the sword blade and kind of pry them out. There we go. Jesus. Okay, so here's the Sue Nuggets. Right here, you can see they're all linked together. So, they're kind of bendy. I would watch bending them too much, because I wouldn't want them to break. But, uh, so they're here. They got the whole, you know, pretty much everything related to Nuggajeroika is here. And, um... Like I said before, that will round out all six uh, food droids in little miniature uh, figure art scale. Um, just like we saw with miniature can droids and memory gadgets and stuff with the double and O's figures. Um, so let's look at what uh, the sword right here. So we got the barrows and sword. Right here we see it closed. Uh, the handle, um, The handle will go up and down as will these, right, these go extend open, and then here's the blade itself, um, which will just pop right out, 
Um, the other one, is there a front? I don't think there's a front. So this is an extended blade, and that will just pop right in. Love how when I oh wait, I think it only goes a certain way. Or I'm an idiot. It's probably the latter. Yeah. There we go. So this is him with the sword, or the hand, but the sword open. And I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that because that's really gonna be what the end product has anyway um, when I pose him. So we'll just leave that. Um, here's the cosmic switch um, by itself um, closed. You can see um, the little lid has been is closed. Um, the whole thing is in the up position. Um, this will. Let's try to make a mess, shall we? Thank you. All right, this will plug into the back right here. Let's move this out the way. Uh, this will plug into the back of the sword. Or it'll make me look stupid, one or the other. Um, possibly both. All right, so it plugs right into the back. Why you'd want a closed one in there, though, I don't really know. There's this open one right here that works just as good. All right, we can see it's open. It's activated, and we'll plug it in right for uh, the uh, limit break. Okay, which will look something uh, like this here. Let me pull that out again, um, and then we have this open one in the switch slot, which we will put in his belt shortly. Um, the closed one that you can put in his belt or probably more accurately you would put it um, in the belt of uh, cosmic of, cos of base states to where it's like oh he hasn't transformed yet or whatever um, that, that would be probably be more the, you know the more appropriate thing to do with that so let's um, check out the figure and get this in his belt Right, there we go. So here he is, right? Cosmic states. He's here um, with his angry eyes. We can see he lacks the antenna that the other Forzays had, which gives him the angry eyes. Look, we can see he's got more, even more of a rocket, really uh, designed head than base states had. Um, you know, it's got this point at the top. Um, we got the wings out here, which move independent. That's cool. Um, and if you look, you can see in his chest, they have all uh, of the switch symbols right in there, right? Um, so that's neat. Uh, the arms, we can see it's got this light blue color. The back still has the little, like jetpack propulsion thing. Um, his belt, it's the same belt. It's got the radar, drilling, uh, dub launcher there we go uh, switches in it as well as the cosmic one I just put in on the legs all the four slots have this blue on them right there and of course as usual with the Forza figures he can uh, use any switch um, and any module uh, that your other Forza figures can use um, and we did see him use a few uh, in the show you know, freeze and a launcher, I guess, because combined it with freeze and whatnot. Um, Articulation-wise, his head moves just fine. The arms slightly hindered if you move it a certain way with the shoulders, with the, with the wings. But I mean, they pretty much will, you know, get out your way. The legs, you know, nothing's really stopping him there. This cosmic switch is going to fall out of the belt repeatedly, and it's going to make me start swearing. Um, and we don't want that. So, let's get him posed with his Barrison sword. Okay, how should we do it? Let's, let's go with that one. I like that one. Um, so that requires a two-handed grip. Of course it does. Let's get... I hate these two-handed grip poses. I really do. I'm just going to put that out there. Let's get some hands. And see, 
Um, like we saw with Red Buster, where they don't make a noise when you put the hands on these. I mean, they kind of make a little bit of a click in sound. Could be my ears playing tricks on me. I don't know. I could be insane. Okay, so we have his hands are in. Right. I'm gonna put um, the hands here for the the sword handle because this is a big hands handle anyway. Let's lift the flaps to get the sword in his hands, and then we'll put them back down. So how? Are we... Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put uh, this hand. Whoa, the sword comes apart. That's cool. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. So that was obnoxious. We got the sword in his hand. Basically, to recap everything I just did off screen, I had to separate the thumb from his finger on the left hand because they got painted together. Then took the sword apart, put the handle in his hand, took it back out of his hand realizing it was upside down, and then put it all back in. So... Here's him holding the sword. Um, that makes me sound, I guess, somewhat incompetent, but I've been around Dawson Rider a while, so those kind of upside-down, backwards things tend to happen. All right, and actually, you can leave his feet kind of like this. I like that with the legs. And, and of course, we're going to touch it, and he's going to fall over because that's the kind of idiot I am. I'm just going to look. It's fine. It's standing. Oh, wait, let's fix it. Nope, it fell over. Should have left it. Stupid. Alright, so here's Forze. Um, let's, uh, as much as I don't want to uncover his face, let's uncover his face and move the sword down a little bit. Um, his face gives me nightmares about having to watch the show again. Okay, so here's, here we go. That's fixed. So, um, the Cosmic States is pretty good. Um, you know, there's no real problems with it. Um, I mean, unless you have one whose thumb has been painted to his finger, and you have to physically separate it. But I mean, that's you know, that's just a, a stupidness issue on their part. But but no, I mean, he's really good. The sword came out real nice. You complete off your food droid collection, um, and you're pretty much done with Forza's main forms with this guy. So yeah, I mean, definitely get it. You know, if you're getting all the figures from the show and Forza forms and whatnot. Um, and plus he's the final form, so those people who are like, I only get final forms, or I only get the main form and the final form, you know, you, here's, a, here's one to get, and it's a good one to get, in, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, so until uh, next time, check out the podcast, RouseRangerAndRambles.com, bringing you the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. Um, and as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!